This PowerPoint presentation is going to introduce you to adverb clauses. This information can be found on page 215 of your book. Adverb clauses come after or before a main clause. Adverb clauses are dependent and do not confuse adverb clauses with adverb phrases because they are different. Now adverb clauses must have a subject and a verb. If the adverb clause comes first in a sentence, there is a comma after the adverb clause. Some of you might be familiar with some of the adverbs that are used. Adverbs like by the time, because and wherever are common adverbs that you might see in adverb clauses. Here are some example sentences. I have separated the main clause from the adverb clause. We will have finished dinner by the time he gets here. Or, by the time he gets here, comma, we will have finished dinner. We celebrated all night because we passed the test. I can find a McDonald's restaurant wherever I go in the United States. Or, wherever I go in the United States, I can find a McDonald's restaurant. Please notice that in the adverb clause, there is a subject and a verb. Subject subject, verb, subject, verb, subject, verb, subject, verb. There are five types of adverb clauses. Adver clause, adverb clauses that show time, adverb clauses that give a reason why something was done or something is done, Adverb clauses that show contrast, adverb clauses that show place or location, and adverb clauses that show purpose for doing something. Let's look at adverb clauses that show time. These are the common adverbs that you will see. While, when, as, once, as soon as, until, before, after, since, by the time. These adverbs are used to connect the action in the main clause to a time element in the adverb clause. For example, you can leave once you have finished your test. The action in the main clause is leave. So it's telling you, you can leave, you can do this action. Once is your adverb, and it's going to show a time element. She has lost pounds. She has lost pounds since she has stopped eating sugar. I am going to go have lunch while you are meeting with your teacher. I can also switch these around and put the adverb clause first. Once you have finished your test, you can leave. Since she has stopped eating sugar, she has lost six pounds. While you are meeting with your teacher, I am going to go have lunch. Let's look at type two. Adverb, cl adverb clauses that give reasons why something is done or why something was done. The adverb clauses in this situation tell why the action in the main clause happened. Common adverbs used are because, since, due to the fact, and as. Due to the fact is used with factual information, like in articles, and this is more formal. As is always used with a comma. 
Now you may see people start a sentence with because, but for now, I do not want you to do that. Let's look at some example sentences. Examples for, uh, examples of giving a reason. We celebrated all night because we passed the final exam. So here's my adverb because. I have a subject and a verb after it. So the reason why we celebrated is because we passed the final exam. I was surprised to meet Joe as I thought I knew everyone in the neighborhood. Here's my as, and I have to have a comma. A comma has to come before the as if you're going to use the adverb as. Rainbows exists, exist due to the fact that raindrops scatter light. Here's my adverb due to the fact. We had a party for Kara last night since she is leaving for China tomorrow. So all of these tell the reason why this was done. Let's look at adverb clauses that show contrast. Showing contrast means that we are showing the opposition with the main clause. In other words, there, is, there are different ideas or opposite ideas or opposite situations between the main clause and the adverb clause. Common adverbs are even though, though, despite the fact, while, in spite of the fact. In spite of the fact is more formal, and while is less common and always used with a comma. Let's look at some examples of showing contrast. Fred's math skills were poor, while John always did well in math. So we have two opposite situations here. Matt, Fred is not very good in math, but John is good in math. Here's another example. He wants to compete in the race, even though he is ill. So he's going to run in this race, even though, so he's sick. Athletes end up earning more money than their classmates, despite the fact that they have low test scores in school. So the athletes are not very good in school, but they will still make more money when they finish school. We can also switch these and put the adverb clause first. Though he wasn't popular, he was determined to win the election. While John always did well in math, Fred's math skills were poor. Even though, even though he is ill, he wants to compete in the race. Despite the fact that athletes have low test scores in school, they end up earning more money than their classmates. Now let's look at adverb clauses that show place. These clauses tell us where the action happened in the main clause. Common adverbs used, anywhere, where, everywhere, wherever. Here are some example sentences. Soccer is a common sport to see wherever there is a large flat area of grass. You can find Chinese restaurants anywhere in a big city in the United States. This is the house where I grew up. And now I've switched it, so I've put the adverb clause first. Everywhere I go, I see American flags. So I can switch any of these sentences and put the adverb clause first if I want to. Last, there's adverb clauses that show a purpose for doing something. This tells you the reason for doing something. The common adverbs used are so that, in order that. Now, I can take away this and just say so if I want to. 
these adverb clauses come after the main clause, you generally won't see them come first in a complete sentence. Modals are sometimes used in the main clause. And we're going to see a verb come after the adverb for these examples. Here are my main clauses. Here are my adverb clauses. You should learn to reduce your stress in order not to let it interfere with your life. I've used a modal in the main clause. Here's my adverb, in order to. I've made it negative by adding not. And here's my verb, let. And then I have this sentence. Teachers move their hands when they teach in order to better convey the message. This sentence does not have a modal. This sentence also has a clause that shows time when they teach. But here's the adverb clause, in order to. Now, I'm going to add another adverb here. So here's my verb, to convey. But I want to use an adverb which describes this action in order to better convey. Or I could delete this and say, teachers move their hands when they teach in order to convey the message. Both would be correct. Finally, teachers make PowerPoint presentations so students can better understand the topic.